Yo fools, get inside. God damn. Oh. Hey, it's that. Hey, that guy is trapped. I have to help everybody I can. I have to get this guy out of here or he'll die. Hey, asshole. Oh, Tony. Thanks, kid. Are you okay? Once I get the hell out of here, I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shit old town. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No, thanks. You go, girl. You go. Be a nicer person, man. Cranky old guy. Oh, hello. What? Death is everywhere. It's following Ooh. me. Ooh. Oh no, I wanted to save him. Oops. Went. Went too far back. Please, somebody. Oh. Okay, there we go. Gotta stop using the automatic ones. Pull. Are you- God! God damn it, Evan! You dumbass! Idiot! Idiot? Who else is an idiot around here? Okay, someone's stuck. Where? Stuck inside this burning building? Hello? Oh, they're stuck inside this burning building? How can I get out of here? Uh, wait, what the fuck? Where am I? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. Okay, road trip. Okay. I'm in that store that I saw a little while ago. Uh, this makes me so sad. Hmm. I do. I thought there might have been a voice in here, but it's just a place to duck out. Oh, never mind. I'm stuck in here now. Whoops. Shit! Legitimately stuck in here now. There was a voice that was crying out for help. I don't know where it was coming from. I was hoping I could help it out. Oh, a fuse box. Oh! Oh! No! 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 no. <laughs> that was the guy that was asking for help. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear okay, me. Okay, well, first things first, we gotta. Can we break down the window, perhaps? Oh, man. Sprinkler, look. Okay. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. Um. Oh, shit, no. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to kill him. How do I get his attention? Just, just look at it, Max. Don't fail me, Fusebox. Yo, idiot. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Okay, okay, okay. There's got to be something I can use. Got to be something loud that I can get his attention with, right? I mean, that's the reason we came in here, right? I, 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 I don't think the game would force me to kill that poor guy just to get myself out of here, right? Is it? Oh god. Oh no. This cannot be happen. Oh wait, maybe it is. Okay. You kill him, and then you get my ass in there. I forgot about all these time travel tricks that Max is capable of. Oh man, this is so basic. <laughs> it's just the, the moral and ethical wrongness, you know? I want to help that fisherman, but 
He's in shock and he might not hear Throw him me. at the window. Come on. You have to get out of here right now. I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. Please, 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 please. Okay, there we go. And I'm now back outside. Yes? Oh, no, I'm not. Man? No more storm. I never okay. will. I can't. Can't go out there because it's freaking fiery still. Oh, the window. Oh, great. You should get out of here. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. Cool. Saved everybody, I think. Pretty sure this guy, was, this fisherman, was the voice. Oh my god, the storm even moved the whales. Jesus Christ. Oh man, those blue whales. Hey, is the homeless woman still around? Oh my god, is that Alphys Barry? Nameless officer. Oh no! <laughs> Don't got time to worry about the homeless woman. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Nope, she's gone. Back door? No need to go there now. Nope. Well, I see the. I see the timer. The timer is going. Sand. Use the sand. Shovel that sand, dude. Oh, yeah. that's what happened. Okay. All right. Fucking Miss Frank in here? Damn. This is blocked. Damn. This is blocked. Fuck. Now I look at that. This tornado might be the end of the world, but not if I can change it. <laughs> Every single time we have to take the way around, it gets me really nervous. How the fuck do I even get in there? Warren's car! Warren's car is about the only thing left to look. Good. Wrecked train. Shit. That train could have derailed into the diner. Okay. Okay, how do I get in the diner? I can't get in, so maybe it's the back way after all. Oh look, there's a car up there too. Anything to look at? Uh, I don't know when I'm supposed to take these photo ops. Okay, back door. Homeless is spot. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, she's not here. I hope she's in a shelter. I never even asked her name. She's you, girl. Nobody's going to starve in here. That's right. This is a smart place to be. Okay, take a look at the newspaper. Go get him, Julia. Blackwell bullying. Bullying's a big problem. Max. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Bro, nobody could have seen this coming except me and Max. So glad everybody is safe here. Um, 
But I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry, sorry. No, no, I'm just a pussy. Sorry. <laughs> Frank. Joyce has got everybody's back. Even Frank's. Yeah, that's why she's the most wonderful character. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? Uh, uh, I'll find her. I, I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David hold up somewhere safe. Yeah, they're both I'm in holes. Sorry about all this, <laughs> they're both in holes Don't somewhere. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. Oh, you have no David idea. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. And if he doesn't always show it. Uh, not against you. Well, I didn't mean to take David's side against you or Chloe. I know you try to see the good side in everybody, and David needs to try that too, but that's not important now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. Again. Joyce, you've gone through so much for Chloe and David. If you were my mom, I would be so proud. Oh, sweetie, thank you. But your parents should be prouder of you. Even David told me how tough he thinks you are. And he doesn't give out many compliments, as you know. David needs you, Joyce. He does about you. It's so obvious he needs you in his life. He better. Like I said, people don't always see the real David Manson. I hope Chloe does someday. God, Joyce, you sweet, sweet woman. You fucking angel. Uh, Frank, it's some bad news, man. It's good to have Frank on our team. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Frank? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are, you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him! Yeah. You saw... You saw Rachel? Yes. I saw her photos. And what can only be presumed to be her body. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson and he... He killed her. How? How did he kill her? Drug overdose. Oh, don't kill yourself. Oh, Frankie, don't, don't kill yourself over this, buddy. Just, just clean up your act and fly right. He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No. What have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just 
It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. Oh, you sweet. I feel, I know, bro. I know. You fucking, you fucking, you fucking sad piece of fuck. Oh my god, Frank. Ah, uh, Frank. She obviously cared about you, Frank. <laughs> Frank. You know, Rachel cared about a lot of people, especially Chloe. But, uh,. Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. Thanks, bro. I'll take that. Okay. No need to worry about Frank. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Joyce will not let Frank harm himself. Actually, I can't believe my reach. I, I can't talk right now, alright? Max, we have to take care of everybody in here now. So let me get back to my double shift. Warren. Jesus. Look at Warren. This is not where I'm Always trying to help. This is the end. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. That's right, I did. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. <laughs> oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? He killed Chloe. I don't know if I started the storm. Probably. I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Uh, what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? Uh, he dosed me. Rachel was killed. He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. Just shut up and give me the photo! You're the bravest person I've ever known. Just shut up and give me the photo! No, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Busted. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, Maybe you caused a chain reaction. That's right, Max. Even in the environment. You silly goose. It's causing crazy butterfly effects, yo. So this is my fault, yes it is. You believe me? Uh, I'm, I'm, after all the sci-fi that this kid's watched, I, I'm not surprised that he's not surprised. I would not be surprised if I were him. Warren, I know this all sounds insane, but you're the only other person who I can count on now. Give me the photo! I wish we had more time together. 
Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. Just give me the photo, dude. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. I, uh, I feel like I gave him the wrong impression with that choice, but th that conversation lasted way too long to for the situation. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make this, like, a very sentimental moment. Good job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. But that, that was, like, several minutes in length. Like, come on. <laughs> Alright. If Brooke's still hey. alive... Be careful out there. Fuck it, why not? For luck. Max can kiss everybody. But if Brooke is still alive by the end of this, I'm gonna defer everything to her. She likes it more than I do. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Lauren. Of course you do. <laughs> I'm gonna make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super Max. Yeah. I had the opportunity, I took it, whatever. Yeah. Proud of you, Maxie. Proud of you, Maxie. Anyway. If, uh, if Brooke's alive by the end of this, I'm gonna defer everything to her. Because she likes him more than I do. Max can stay without a relationship. I'm totally cool with that. She's got more important shit to worry about. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. <sighs> Chloe. God. It's Jesus, dude, what is up with you? Fucking glad to I'm see you. Just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. Later, bro. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, me Warren. To Rachel. Let's go. Oh now. my God, I can Chloe, save wait, Nathan listen. Prescott. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me. I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Shut the fuck up and listen. God damn it, you idiot. Nathan is dead. And you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. You're not even listening. You're not even gonna listen. Jefferson killed him, you idiot. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Oh no. Chloe! No. No. Man, she just won't listen. Fucking just... Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure- You stupid goddamn idiot. I fucking- I, I like this girl. I really like this girl, but she's a goddamn idiot. You fucking thick ass skull. You idiot. Nathan is dead. Would you please that just fucker is fucking listen for once please? and not just make all your decisions based on like just charged emotions? Please. He hurt me. Could you calm down? Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. 
You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here, and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. Oh my god. With one bullet. You no, fucking... Well, please listen. Way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked some shit up, Chloe. That's what I did. I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. Oh no, okay. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And it, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you... You asked me to end your life. <laughs> no. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen. And as usual, I messed everything up. And... <sighs> I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me. So we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but... Do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? Is that why you stuck up for him? Because you think he can help us? Really? Yes, you idiot. David was saved me, dude. He oh, if I tell her David cares about her, she won't believe me. But if I tell her that he saved me, it'll prove... Chloe, David <sighs> saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Wait, what is happening? Oh. Oh, so these pockets of, these pockets of memories right here, it's, it's Max cycling through the events, the previous events. She doesn't live through these moments. Her memory gets wiped and we have to fill in the, the void. Okay, that's what, that's what that was all about. 